Barbie on a car. It's a girl. Changing tables, a cradle and a doll. Little one needs lots of care. Let's take a slow. Hello doll fans and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. My name's Joey and today I'm really excited because I have an iconic piece of Barbie history. An, a, a Barbie artifact, if you will. This is... Bling! Pregnant Midge. And that's not actually the official name of the doll, but she's more commonly known as Pregnant Midge because she pregnant. Casual Barbie fans will probably know this doll from her very brief appearance in the Barbie movie. This doll is super famous in the Barbie community because she was released in 2003 and caused quite a big stir. <coughs> Parents were not happy about this doll. A lot of them complained. They said she was inappropriate because she was pregnant. And I made a whole video about Midge and the history of Midge, the character from the Barbie line. And that video was really, really popular. People really enjoyed it. But one of the comments I got a lot and loads of people were asking me was, do I own the pregnant Midge doll? And no, I did not own the pregnant Midge doll, but now I do own the pregnant Midge doll. How many times can I say pregnant Midge doll? Every time I say pregnant Midge doll, you have to drink. Before we go any further, I just want to of course remind you to subscribe to my channel if you're new here, and check me out on Instagram and TikTok. Anyway, let's get on with it. Parents complained for a multitude of reasons. One of the reasons was because they thought that Midge looked too young to be pregnant, and that the doll would encourage teen pregnancy, which I don't know, around this time especially, Barbie and Midge's ages were kind of a bit ambiguous. Obviously Barbie had originally been marketed as a teen, teen fashion model. Barbie, the famous teenage fashion model doll by Mattel. But, you know, now, I don't know, she seems like she's in her like mid-twenties, I guess? Um, and that's kind of like a reasonable age to have a baby. Could never be me. Could never be me. But, you know, people be having babies at 25. That's pretty standard. But anyway, for me, I've always kind of thought of the Happy Families line as sort of like a spiritual successor to the Heart Family, which was a line of dolls from the 80s made by Mattel. It was kind of, again, like a Barbie spin-off line that was kind of more family orientated. Obviously, Barbie is all about, you know, living her single lifestyle, girls can do anything, you know, not being tied down by a man or by a family. But there is always a need for play patterns which involve nurturing and looking after things, you know. It is kind of like a common play pattern which kids like to enjoy. I even found this article from 2002 with a quote in it from a psychologist which says the pregnancy themed happy family dolls complement children's strong interests in family relationships and supports their social and emotional development. I'm sure Mattel thought about giving Barbie a baby at some point. They probably toyed with the idea but then thought it would be better for them to make Midge pregnant. And Barbie, as you can see here, is the doctor. She delivers the baby. And I just want to say, I don't think there's anything wrong with Midge being pregnant. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, pregnancy is a perfectly natural thing. That said, <laughs> now that I'm holding the doll in my hands, I have to say, it is kind of weird. I don't know, like, it's kind of weird. You just don't expect to see a pregnant doll. You know, a doll with a big pregnant belly. I'm sure most kids, when they're playing a storyline where someone has a baby, they skip over the pregnancy part and go straight to the baby just, like, being there. I am gonna open this doll. I know I probably shouldn't. People will be angry because she's such a rare doll. I paid quite a lot of money for her, I won't lie. I paid £190, which is the most I've ever paid for a doll, I believe. But, like I say, I really wanted to own her, and I wanted to share her with you guys. My plan is, if this video does really well, I might make a whole series where I buy all the, like, weird Barbie dolls from the Barbie movie that feature in that scene with Weird Barbie, and, you know, make a bit of a series out of this. But anyway, we're starting off with Pregnant Midge. Now, I'm sorry about the glare. 
They've used a different colour scheme to the regular Barbie doll boxes, which I think was to differentiate the Happy Families line from the rest of the Barbie line. Um, the Barbie logo isn't even really on here very much. You can see it there, right in the corner, just there. The Midge doll is beautifully displayed in there, and the baby is actually meant to be there on the changing table, but the baby's fallen down. It is at the moment hiding behind this little cardboard cat on the floor, but when we open the doll, I will show you the baby in all her glory. As you can see here, there's a little image that shows you that mum loves her baby, it says. Mum loves her baby. <laughs> well, I should hope so. Wouldn't be a very happy family if she didn't love her baby, but anyway. Up here it says Midge and Baby. The background of the box is really cute, it's kind of like a very pastel baby bedroom. At the bottom here there is a picture of Midge and Barbie, Barbie's dressed as a doctor, and Midge's husband Alan. You may also know Alan from the Barbie movie, yes, it is the same Alan, I do believe. Although his name is spelt differently here than it was originally. And I found out an interesting fact about that. Barbie was based on Ruth Handler's daughter. The Barbie doll was named after Barbara. So when the Alan doll came out, they decided to name the Alan doll after Barbara's current husband, who was also called Alan. But by the 90s, Alan and Barbara had got a divorce, so they decided to change the spelling of the Alan doll's name as to differentiate him from the actual person. I'm not sure if this is true, but if it is, I find that quite interesting. Anyway, as I was saying, you can see Barbie, Midge, Alan, and their other son, whose name I've forgotten. I think it might be Ryan. I think it might be Ryan. Alan and Ryan are dressed in the exact same outfit, which is a little bit cringe, but also kind of cute. Now, this little picture here clearly wasn't enough for the disgruntled parents, because a lot of parents complained that it wasn't clear from the packaging that Midge was married. Now, she was a pregnant woman, and she wasn't married. This was clearly quite scandalous, even though it was 2003, and you would have thought we'd be a bit more open-minded than that, but anyway. She also didn't have a wedding ring, and I'm pretty sure my version doesn't have a wedding ring, but in later versions of this doll, they added a wedding ring to her hand, and they also added a cardboard cutout of Alan in the background of the box to show everyone that Midge did have a husband. Do not worry because we were all so worried about that. The back of the box, we have all these really adorable images. Here we can see an image of Midge and Alan getting married. I don't know where these outfits are from, and this set was never released. Um, it's just an image for the back of the box. But it would have been really cool for Mattel to make a another uh, Midge and Alan wedding set. Obviously, they did make one in the early 90s. There are also images of Alan and Barbie, and at the bottom here we have instructions on how the doll works. Obviously, you can see that the belly is magnetic. As you can see, they've taken some creative liberties on how the actual labour process works. <laughs> um, but, you know, it is what it is. And then it says, it's a girl because, you know, we love a gender reveal party, we love a gender reveal party. And then it says crib, so yeah, the, that's the crib, and cradle, and changing table. So the this kind of accessory here is transformable. And there is some writing here which gives a little bit of background to the kind of plot for these dolls. It says, this is Alan and I on our wedding day. Ooh. It's written from the point of view of uh, Midge, that's interesting. That was the start of our wonderful family. Alan and our son Ryan! I got it right, his name is Ryan, love that. Alan and our son Ryan like to go to the park for picnics. Dr. Barbie told Ryan he is going to have a little sister. What do you think we should name her? Now, interestingly enough, her name turns out to be Nikki. And the name Nikki is used quite a few times in the Barbie line. It's used as one of Skipper's friends, it's used as the name of Midge's baby, and then later on it's used for one of Barbie's friends. 
Anyway, on the side here, it has all the different Barbie websites you can visit, and I remember spending so much time in my childhood on the Barbie website. <sighs> good times, good times. Simpler times. Ooh, the box date is 2002. I thought this came out in 2003, but maybe that's just the box date. Okay, now that I've spoken about the box, I'm gonna take her out of the box, and I'm gonna give you guys a closer look at the doll itself. Ah! Pregnant Midge is out of the box, and I am so, so excited. <laughs> this is probably how my friends want me to react when they tell me they're pregnant, but really I'm just like, oh, okay, that's cool. Guess I'll never see you again. <laughs> Kidding, kidding. I am really excited to see this pregnant doll. It's just so random and bizarre and I do, it, it is a weird concept, but she's really beautiful. Like she's definitely got that pregnancy glow to her. First thing I noticed about this doll is her face is like really sticky. And you know, some dolls from around this time that would happen to them, the plastic over time starts to like ooze. It's kind of weird. Maybe a sticky face is just a side effect of being pregnant, which I never knew about. <laughs> Kidding. But yeah, she's really beautiful. I don't know why Midge always has such a massive forehead, but she's really, really cute. I do love this face sculpt. She's beautifully tanned. She's got her hair really intricately designed into these little plaits. I had to add my own elastic bands because the elastic bands she came with were broken. And I have to say, for a woman who is like, what, eight months pregnant? It's pretty incredible that she's had the patience to do all this amazing hair. And her hair is like super long as well, it goes all the way down to her behind. And she has this really cute like purple empire waist dress. I think this dress is like cleverly designed so that it looks good on her when she's pregnant and it looks good on her when she doesn't have the belly. She has articulation at the neck. Ooh, sticky. She has articulation at the elbows, that's probably so she can more easily hold her baby. She has the rubbery plastic legs which bend at the knees and at the hip. And as all Barbie dolls had at this time, even though she's pregnant, she is still in high heels. She's in these kind of interesting looking high heeled like jelly sandals. Kind of strange choice, but they are really cute. I don't think I've ever seen this shoe mold before on another doll. The dress is like really nicely detailed as well with this like little ribbon going round. Even though they had some complaints, the doll and the rest of the line was clearly quite successful. Because they made loads more dolls in this line, the line got extended. They made loads of different play sets. They had like party play sets. Midge even had another baby, they had next door neighbours, they had their own house and their own car. You know, this doll has had quite an impact. But anyway, yeah, this doll was recalled from some Walmart shops, and when she came back, obviously they changed the packaging, like I said, and she had a wedding ring. This one does not have a wedding ring, as you can see. <gasps> oh no, wait! <gasps> Oh my goodness, my one does have a wedding ring! Can you see that? There's a silver band right there. So my version of this doll must have been one of the reissues, but obviously my box doesn't have the cardboard cutout of Alan. And my doll still has a pregnant belly. Also in later versions, they didn't come with the pregnant belly, they just had the baby on the cot. Anyway, I'm just going to push them over there. Here are the instructions. There is very detailed instructions on how to remove the belly. There is also this little piece of cardboard here which has images of the family, birth certificate, little baby picture, and this doll also came with a little photo album which kind of doubles as a little brochure of all the different dolls you can get in this line. Here are some of the other pregnancy fashions you could get for Midge. Here's the little bedroom playset. Anyway, back to the doll. Here you can see the little tiny, tiny baby, and she is so adorable. She's wrapped in this, like, thing here. You can take it off her, and she's got a little nappy on! Oh my goodness! Ah, she's so cute! She's so cute. Wow, okay. Wow, I didn't think I would react like that, but she's really cute. And she's got a little t-shirt you can put on her with a teddy bear. And then obviously we also have the cot, or, well this is a changing table at the moment. There's a little mattress, there's this little 
baby towel blanket thing. There are drawers which really work and when you turn it upside down then slide it up it becomes a cot or a crib. Very cute and it actually rocks from side to side when it's in this position <laughs> but the baby's just rolling around in there. Probably not completely safe. Anyway now let's try and put the baby back inside Midge. What a weird sentence. Um, this feels like strangely cruel, you know, putting the baby back inside her, but anyway. So I'm just gonna lift up her dress and there you can see the pregnant belly. It does look kind of strange, it looks very alien. And what's even more alien about this whole thing is you can like take the belly off and then you can like put the baby, you have to like shove the baby's legs like right up so that it can fit. And then you put the baby back inside her. <laughs> there you go, completely normal. Nothing strange about that. And anyway, when you're ready, pregnant Midge can just pop her belly off as many times as you like. And the baby just plops right out. And here you can see the dress still falls quite nicely on her, even without the baby belly underneath. And she can hold her newborn baby. And it's the miracle of life, you know? It really is quite beautiful, really. Oops. Don't drop your baby, Midge. Oh, but, oh by the way, the doll also came with a little baby bath, which is very cute. And I couldn't be bothered to take them out because I'm not all that interested in accessories, but they also came with all of these little baby toys and a baby monitor and a bottle. Loads of stuff there for the baby, which is really cute. She's obviously already had her baby shower. They should have made a baby shower playset. That would have been fun. So there we go, doll fans. I have opened and discussed the incredibly controversial pregnant Midge Barbie doll. Please let me know in the comments what you thought of this doll. I think overall, you know, it's a fun idea, a fun gimmick. Pregnancy is perfectly natural, and even though the doll is a little bit weird, I think it's fine. I would absolutely love to see a return of the Happy Families line. Let me know in the comments if you would want to see a modern remake of the Happy Families line. I would love to see a return of Midge in general. If you want to learn more about Midge, please don't forget to check out my History of Midge video or check it out again if you've already seen it. Also don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Check me out on Instagram and TikTok and Anyway, doll fans, I will see you real soon. Everyone say congratulations to Midge in the comments. <laughs>